I'm Mitchell Foster, and I'm here with Derek Descanio from State Champs. So, first thing, Derek, uh, thank you for taking the time to do this, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. So, I have to tell you, my generation, um, I grew up listening to Newfound Glory and Save the Day. Okay. And I, I fucking love those two bands. Mm -hmm. So, after listening to your newest, well, your debut album, I have to make a statement. State Champs is the Newfound Glory and the Save the Day of this generation. That's that's saying something special. <laughs> it is, man. and I fucking love it. So you heard that shit first here. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, so this is your first time as a band in Orlando, right? It's our first time here. I couldn't be happier to finally make it out. Awesome. Yeah. So how how much does it fucking rule that this show is sold out? Great, man. Like you, you, you can never expect much from a, an area that you've never played before. But yeah. the fact that we're lucky enough to be out here with a great package of awesome bands and, and be support for something as special as this for the first time or in, in a city that I've always wanted to play and grew up coming to like on vacation and things like that. Yeah. Uh, finally being able to play and having it be sold out is unreal. So we're, we're awesome. super excited. Tonight's going to be fun. Cool, dude. Uh, so what's tour like been This so tour's far? been great. It's been one of the best support tours we've done as far as like being able to expose ourselves to new fans and, and, and a new and a different crowd that, that uh, will help us in the long run for sure because we've toured with all these different mix of genres and bands and to finally like branch out a little bit and tour with some bands that you normally wouldn't think that you'd see us on a bill with is, yeah. is really cool in this sense and it's and it's helped us with exactly like every time every show I, I feel like I'll say how many people first time seeing us most of the crowd so yeah. uh, so and th that's a good thing people like people are kind of like anxious to put their hands up and say like that's the first time seeing us or first time even hearing us. But I'm all about it. I'm so about like the new exposure, new fans, and, and just uh, playing to new people, new places, and it's been awesome. The reception has also been great. Even for kids' first time seeing us, the shows have been wild. Crowds have been super active. Lots of energy in these shows, which is unexpected, but couldn't ask for anything better. It's great. Awesome, man. Well, thank you for coming. For yeah, sure. of course. All right, so State Champs put out their debut album less than six months ago, entitled The Finer Things. Yeah. They placed 134 on the Billboard Top 200, number two on the Billboard Heat Seekers, and 53 on the iTunes Top 200. What was it like when you found out your new album, The Finer Things, was at number two on the Billboard Heat Seekers? This is our first album, so none of that was even in the picture at all until this came out. So, like, so it was this, surreal. Uh, it was very surreal. Very awesome. surreal, like, to, to hear that something like that can actually happen for our first real album ever. So, when we heard about that stuff, it was crazy we were on tour with uh with bayside in motion city soundtrack at the yes. time the day that we released our album and i think we were in like iowa or something like that and so uh, we, uh, we were loading into the show and someone said like i think it was uh chad gilbert actually who came up to us because his side project he's in what he's what's in gilbert what's yeah. eating gilbert was on the tour he said saw you uh saw you beat my band on, on the on the itunes charts huh. uh, uh, uh they had put a live album out that day oh, yeah? glory put a live album out oh, the yeah. same their, their day first, as ours their first live album their ever. first live album yeah and we beat them on the charts oh, man. so he was sour about I'm it i'm telling it you man you guys are, you guys are here <laughs> and it, it was just unreal to see something like that happen or all the the billboard stuff itunes stuff i was i tried not to you know not to like keep an eye on it too much just to like just because, like, you don't want to like get make it get your head too big in a situation yeah. like that. But it was awesome. You could, I was definitely taking peeks and and, and and wanted to see that kind of stuff. And it was awesome, wild. Man. Man. Well, was that cool. that definitely deserves a congratulations. Of course, so, thank congratulations. You, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I love the new album, by the way. It, it's such a such a really good feel to it. Thank you, man. So the fire things was produced by Steve Klein, who used to be in Newfound Glory. Mm -hmm. So I gotta ask you. Uh, what do you think about his recent criminal charges of possessing child pornography, and do you think it had any sort of impact on the band or anything like that? I don't think any of that. Like, we met Steve as Steve, a normal guy that was here to make our album uh, as best as it could be. Uh, and that was one thing that he said when we were in the studio, was like, I am not Steve from any band, I'm not in any band, I'm not Steve from Newfound Glory, I'm not some guy that's like some rock star guy or anything. I'm just a guy named Steve that thinks he can make your, your record the best way it can be. And it was strictly business with him. And it, he was just an extra set of eyes and ears in the studio. He would take our songs and maybe like, just, uh, we, we would play our songs in, in, in the live room in the studio when we first got there. And he would just kind of like stop us every once in a while and, and, and give advice on certain parts and things like that and structure of songs and things like that. But, um, I don't know. I, I knew that I saw this this question coming definitely, yeah. and like <laughs> it's the first time I've been asked it, so it's like it's different for me. But I guess I don't have much of a comment on it besides the fact that he was he was good to have in the studio for as far as like dissecting our songs and making our record as good as it could be. So and uh, the, yeah, that's all I really have to say cool. about it. For sure. Sounds like from a professional standpoint, 
he was exactly what oh he yeah needed exactly to be. what he needed to be and I, I mean we didn't hear anything like it was such a surprise to us when we heard all that stuff yeah, so I think it was to a lot of us uh, to everyone <laughs> for sure and so yeah still not sure what to think about it but uh, yeah, yeah. Besides, uh, it but, uh, left yeah. us really definitely didn't make an impact on the band though well, <laughs> yeah. good good to hear <laughs> that's good well speaking of bands what what bands would you say that you really look up to in your genre right now we found glory is definitely up there and the fact yeah. that we even got to like be involved with them in any sort and we did get to end up after recording our album head out on tour with them for a little bit for a week yeah. long on the west coast which was insane awesome shows to play like as, as a support band in that effect um a lot of bands we've toured with actually are like big bands growing up that i would listen to like bayside and motion c soundtrack yeah. um cartel is another one that we've toured with it's a big one cool um i grew up on bands like fallout boy in the starting line which are still bands that i look up to today yeah. um so yeah but mainly like early pop punk bands that set the bar for bands like us to really keep keep the generation going for sure cool well thank you are there any records that you're stoked about right now um right now not so much because i haven't like we've been so busy like i feel like whenever i take out my laptop and look at my itunes i'm a big new music guy myself Mm -hmm. but we've been so busy and i haven't been home a lot to even like look at new records and things like that i haven't really like branched out on like new music and dove into like what's new right now other than like around the time that our album came out because there were so many albums that came out the day that ours did in October it was October 8th was ours coming out and uh, I remember like the anticipation for it was crazy because there was about like 20 records that came out that day it was like that New Found Glory live record came out uh, A Day to Remember had an album Panic at the Disco um Made a parade, put out an album that day. Yeah. There was so it was so much. It was a super internet buzz day for music. So, and a lot of those albums I do like that we still listen to in the band, like that Day to Remember album and things like that. But as far as new music, I plan to get home after this tour and find all the new records that I haven't heard yet, and then make my next opinion. So yeah. I'm Are excited you, though because I'm a big new music guy. Yeah. Are you a vinyl fan? I'm not a vinyl guy. I actually, if anything, I'm more of a CD guy. I've, I've been like a CD collector since I was I was I was yeah. pretty little. So I, I do cool. that. And like mainly digital, just because I try to download as much music as I can all the time to have new music yeah. to listen to. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, thank you. So yeah. you guys are going to Europe in May, right? Yeah, right after this tour. Have you guys ever been there before? We've never been. It's going to be our first time there. Um, only Tony, our guitarist, has been there in the past. The rest of us have never been overseas anywhere, like for any reason. Never. So it's something that's awesome. going to be pretty special for us. Yeah. So are you guys stoked about playing live overseas? Very stoked, man. Yeah, it's yeah. cool because I already have some friends that I like talk to a lot that are from overseas, and like we hear we hear a lot of buzz on the internet, like through Twitter and, and other social medias, like that have been like definitely waiting for us to get over there. Yeah. So to even hear that anyone's excited for us to play there, like with the bands that we're going over with, is going to be yeah. something special for sure. I'm really excited. Awesome, man. There's definitely a building anticipation for you guys to get over there. So yeah, I so can only imagine how excited you are. So we're here. Very excited, man. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so, I mean, you guys have a, a heavy tour schedule through the rest of the year. This is um, the busiest we've ever been. No doubt yeah. about it. Yeah. Awesome. We're well, yeah. definitely doing your part to support the new album. <laughs> oh, for sure, man. Yeah. I'm trying. Awesome. Well, all right, man. That's all I got for you. Um, Hell yeah. So you can catch State Champs on tour with We Are The In Crowd through April 4th in the States. You can catch them all over Europe in May and all summer long on the Warp Tour, right? Of course. The Warp Tour is going to be our next big push in the States after this tour. So awesome. anybody listening right now, make sure you make it out to Warp Tour. Come find us and hang out. It's going to be a fun Awesome. Time. Are you guys on every single date? All the dates, of course. Awesome. All the dates. All right, cool. Well, Derek, thanks again. Thanks, everybody, and thank you, my man, for having me. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. You're welcome.